Aloha friends, here is another food haul. Now this will be Trader Joe's and Costco together. I did go to um, Costco first and then I went ahead and went to Trader Joe's. So I'm going to start off over here first with, uh, with Costco. Currently Costco has the Bounty and the Charmin's um, uh, paper towel and toilet paper on sale. So I bought that. Usually um, with paper towels, I like uh, Viva over at Target. And some Costco's actually do carry the Viva. Um, <clears throat> and then um, a lot of the stuff I do have, like when I stock up on things, is because it is currently on sale. And, and those two items are one of them. But let's go ahead and start off over here at, um, at the corner with Costco. Um, Tully's coffee i like to get the hawaiian blend again this is also on sale which i i lucked out on usually when i do need my um, my hawaiian blend it is not on sale at costco so i felt really lucky because i think it's like five bucks off i'm not quite sure we got red lobster cheddar bay biscuit the kids like to make that on their own it's so easy to make and it's a nice um uh bread with spaghetti or something with pasta but also the kids like it for um after school and then I told the kids, I'm like, I got me a pillow size spinach. It's not the organic one, but it's okay. Even though it's pre-wash, I still wash it. And I go through a lot of spinach. So if you guys notice, I don't have any like lettuce. So I'm going to use this for the salads. But I like to saute it also with um, with tomatoes and, um, and garlic and just olive oil. And actually, when you saute it, all of this will probably be just one um one big bowl of, of spinach so it goes really fast and plus the family likes it we have sandwich rolls these are like i call these like the hoagie hoagie rolls this is nice when um you want to make like luncheon meat for the kids i like to microwave it first so that when they eat it at school for lunch time then it doesn't um, become so it's not hard when you microwave it first even for just 10 seconds it um I don't know some chemical happens to where it becomes more um, soft <laughs> the kids notice that so that's really nice so I like to do that it's it's um, it works out for sandwiches and dinner and at home and for the school and then Jonathan is doing college classes at night so he has one from 6 to I believe 9 30 and then 6 to 8 30 so he really needs his coffee before he goes to class otherwise he gets tired but he doesn't want like the coffee coffee the strong coffee and this to me is more like milk than anything so i bought this but unfortunately it was not on sale and it was about like 17 dollars it's still a good price for the um for costco but usually it can be like about 13 or 14 dollars so i like to get it when um during that price with tissery chicken i have this today and then um some veggies carrots and celery because there's a recipe in here for filipino sopas which is our traditional filipino like a uh, chicken noodle soup um so i'm gonna make that because everybody seems to be starting to um to get sick so first it was danielle now it's hubby and danny so i want to make sure that i have some sort of a soup for them to be able to warm up and bell peppers i was actually looking for the baby bell peppers because i like that it has the red the orange and then the the yellow but they were out of it at my costco so i just got this ramen this is oh my goodness this is so good this ramen i think is 13 dollars something for the box but i believe there is nine in there um i think there is nine or six bowls there's six bowls in there totally worth it i mean it's so it's so good um hubby likes to pack it for lunch the kids like to eat it for like an after school they can't pack it for for school because they can't put anything in the microwave unless it was bought from the from the cafeteria or the little cafe that they have in the high school i got two peanut butters i i started um i started putting them away and i'm like you know what i'm gonna do a haul so um there's two in a pack got some bananas i uh, also took that out of the plastic already and then ritz crackers for the the kids for danica little danica to munch on that's from costco i also bought some raspberries i think this was like only four dollars when i buy fruits at costco i try not to over purchase so much like i have here um, because they are large quantities and they tend to go bad especially like the big um 
big strawberries that they have, um, big clamshell, that's like what, two pounds. That goes really, um, really fast. So I, I tend to wash it right away with uh, vinegar and water. And then I feel that when you wash the fruits right away before placing it into the refrigerator or putting it into your counter, then the, the family is more than, um, eager to to have it for a snack because it's already nice and clean they can just easily grab it so that's what I'm gonna do here as well and I like to soak my my um, my fruits with the vinegar and the water mixture and I do have a video over here for that I like to get my eggs over at Costco and then um, I get the baking eggs at Costco but then um, I need to start buying some more of the brown eggs as far as cooking it's just that my family goes through so much eggs and sometimes it's um, financially, it's, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, okay, well, I just spent $12 on, on eggs at Costco that are brown. And, but I need to start doing that because brown eggs are way better than, um, than these white eggs. Um, quick cook steel cut oats. I like to have this for breakfast. Even the, the kids, they'll have this along with um, banana. And the bananas all ripen, ripen at the same time. So what I do is I peel it and then I put it into a freezer bag and then I place it into the freezer and then I usually cut it up into like three sub, uh, pieces for per banana so that they can um, micro when we're cooking this we can easily put it into the pot and then the banana will soften and then it will add flavor onto that or else we put it on our smoothies and such. So I think that's it for our Costco. And then for Trader Joe's, I really wanted to um, to stock up. This is my, I'm trying to make it to where I don't want to go to Costco or Trader Joe's um, every couple of days. So I don't want to go to Costco or Trader Joe's for another two weeks. So like mid, a um, little bit after mid-January because it takes a lot of time for me to go back and forth as far as like especially the traffic now after the holidays and um, if you guys can see it's raining outside so it takes a lot of uh, my free time to go do these uh, grocery errands so I'm trying to find new ways this year to cut back on my travel time okay so I have um, I placed it in the freezer already, but these are the different mac and cheese that I always get. And I get three of each, and I think that's plenty, or hopefully that's going to be plenty for the two weeks. So I have the truffle mac and cheese. This is just a little bit more pricier than the others, but hubby loves this one. The kids don't care so much for it. And then hubby also likes the, um, the hatch chili mac and cheese. A little bit of a spice to it. Again, that's just for hubby. The kids don't like it. And then the kids, even Danica really likes that plain um, mac and cheese there. Japanese fried rice. I always get this, especially for Danielle. Um, she likes to cook this and then packs it for her lunch. She's not a sandwich um, girl. She doesn't like to pack her sandwiches, but she will pack um, rice like this or um, salads with bell peppers and um, and spinach and such and then also when I do my grilling then she'll um, pack that as well I also wanted to stock up on my um, ready to eat meals and I don't usually go to the grocery store for ready to eat meals I'll go for like a breakfast with Danica she's three and it's so hard to feed her she will not eat eggs um, she likes rice but she will eat those breakfast um, those sausage and pancake on a stick so I'll go to the grocery store for that because Costco or Trader Joe's doesn't carry those and then I'll also make a grocery store run for like little small veggies that I'm, um, I'm doing for a recipe or because I ran out of bread uh, milk we also get a delivery every week for our milk so this is just an, um, an add-on because lately it is cold that the kids are making hot chocolate and and such so I tend to run out of milk so I wanted to do that so so the ready meals you guys seen this before linguine with clam sauce I get two package um, each visit or not visit but each time that I want to um, to get it I feel that one is actually sufficient for hubby and I Danielle can't have this Danielle cannot have anything that deals with the ocean so it has clams the kids will not eat this maybe then Danny will that's why Danielle likes to cook this one because this has soy in it and um, tofu. I think tofu, not soy. Um, so I got that. And then this is also good to saute just per instruction. That's why I love Trader Joe's. 
because the instruction says you know you just add like maybe a tablespoon of water and that's it you put the rest of the ingredients but I like to drizzle it with lemon and then also um, uh, plenty of fresh ground pepper and it makes it really taste really good and then if you have cilantro just sprinkle that on the top mushroom ravioli I got this too um, the girls like this with a uh, mushroom truffle sauce meatballs this is um, when my older kid wants to cook something for dinner like spaghetti um, they don't have to deal with the, the ground beef and browning it they can easily just cook the pasta and I have a pasta right here cook the pasta I have a sauce and then they just um, brown this a little bit and then it's all done so that they, they don't have to worry about the not having the meat cooked because this one is already fully cooked mandarin and orange I have to buy a few of these so I think there's already three in the freezer plus this one so I have four that's really nice the kids love this over rice and then sriracha on top that's a great meal for them we don't even go to um, what is that one one Chinese place that you see at the mall I, I can't think of the name now but you know that's where we used to get our orange chicken bowl all the time um, but we don't do that anymore because this tastes so much Panda Express. This tastes so much just like Panda Express uh, Mandarin Chicken. Okay, I got more of this. I have really been enjoying um, this and plus it's, um, it it's actually tastes really good when you mix it in when I grill my veggies. So I'll grill, I like to grill, I posted it on my Instagram, but I like to grill the sweet potatoes and the zucchini squash and then some tomatoes and then I just um, cook this per instruction add a little bit of um, chicken broth because I do make my own chicken broth this is why I always buy this at Costco so I'll pre-shred it separate the white meat separate the dark meat and then I will go ahead and boil this into a large pot of water I don't even add any seasoning whatsoever because this already has its own seasoning and then I say I separate that into like little tubs and now I'm going to show you guys really quick where's my tubs hold on all right so this is the tub that I use to make um to put uh, to store my fresh uh, chicken broth into the freezer I get these when we have uh, so we don't go to restaurants a lot um, because of the little one and because the kids um, they, they just tend to not want unless it's like happy hour and we do like to go to Applebee's for their they like their chicken wings they like their um, certain pizzas and stuff like that but other like our uh, other restaurant they they don't like to go to that so hubby and I will go to like pho and then the girls will go with us sometimes but when we order it to go and the reason I like to order it to go is because I stock up on these so with this I can make um, two sizes of these um, these right here and then actually sometimes I'll even just um, add more water to it and just keep boiling it if I'm just around the kitchen and the flavor is still there so this has a lot of flavor so I like that that's why I buy um, rotisserie chicken um, always over at Costco because we can definitely use the meat for our salads and then our ready to eat meals like I've told you guys before but it's perfect to make your own uh, chicken broth so if you guys see if I've ever seen my haul I've never showed you guys chicken broth I always make my own okay so got that quinoa and then I like these these um I haven't bought them in a while this is the lemon pepper um, pasta I like to have this with again some of the shredded chicken and then I don't know if I mentioned it but I like to freeze it as well if I if I know that I'm not gonna consume it I, I like to freeze it so that when I'm ready to cook the pasta like this add some spinach I also add spinach um, uh, along with this I think there's a recipe in here that I did years and years ago then just for a little bit of meat I'll have the pre-shredded meat that I've already put into the freezer add it in there and it's super quick meal I got celery I got carrots for the sopas and then also I like to have green onion um, green onion is nice to just put on top of dishes um, even like the sopas or even these it just has that um I, I like it because like for me I don't care so much for too much cheesy stuff so if I chop this into like little dices and then I put it on top just like you know you would normally put like a cilantro on top then it takes away the cheesy taste and then it, it gives you like the 
I don't know, I call it like the refreshing. So in Tagalog, there we have a word for it. I don't quite um, know. Because in our Filipino culture, we always have like bananas and and tomatoes with our meals. Uh, that's because it takes away the taste of like the meat and the spicy or the salty or the oily. So that's nice. So I don't know, I just wanted to mention that. And then we have the spaghetti. And then hubby likes these cheese right here. Um, triple cream, say brie cheese or brie. And I ended up getting like the biggest one they had. So what we do is just we put this in a little platter, melt it. I like it melted. I just melt it for like a good 25 seconds. And then I stocked up on a lot of uh, crackers. So we got the, I bought this last time and we really liked it. So this is the pita bite cracker. And then also my Trader Joe's had um, their last like holiday product. So I wanted to stock up on that as well. Pumpkin cranberry crisp. They had this and they also had the fig one that I wanted to check out. So next time I'm going to check out the fig. And then we got the multi-grain um, mini snack crackers for the little ones to pack for school or Danica for snack. Country pumpkin spice granola. This is the second one I'm uh, getting this. Danielle really liked it. She liked it just over like a plain yogurt um, where else she'd pack it and just munch on it for a snack before going um, to her cheer practice after school. So it gives her a little bit of that energy. And then I picked this up. This was the, they only had a very limited um, holiday um, um, items. And then this was also part of, um, part of their holiday items. But this was the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's. Oh, and, and actually, I wanted to pick up the, um, what was it, like the, the, the mint, like the candy cane Jojo's. They had one too, um, like a few rows. So if I go back there, if I happen to go back there next time, they still have it. I'm going to pick that up because I do want to make a cheesecake uh, recipe that calls for the, um, the candy cane Jojo's. Okay, so this one is the drizzle triple ginger biscotti. I've never purchased this before. I usually just get the um, the chocolate chip or I think the just the chocolate um, over Trader Joe's. I still have some over there by the um, coffee maker but this one is just um, made with ginger puree and crystallized ginger pieces. Now I figured that Jonathan, Jonathan likes things gingery. Um, this will be good for him to try out because he does also like his um, spickless cookies. So I bought two of those. One is already in the cookie jar. As you guys can see, I don't have a lot of like um, sweet sweets for the family. I'm trying this year to cut down on sweets. Yes, we have processed foods, but you know what? If you, you can have processed foods. I have children, have four children. I have a three-year-old all the way to a college student right now, even though he's still a senior in high school. I don't really have time to stay home and make them uh, breakfast and lunch and dinner. I really don't. I'm trying this year, I want to use up my crock pot more so it gives me more time to spend with the family rather than being in the kitchen or being at the grocery store. So that's my goal this year. Um, avocados, this was super cheap. I think it was like $2.99. They're a bit small and they're still hard, but I like the fact that they are small because when I get them at Costco, and Costco has them for about six pieces, they're so huge. And sometimes I just want it over a salad or over a toast with a with over easy eggs and I don't want the whole huge avocado. I think this is a perfect um, one serving or even two serving for two people. Uh, baby broccoli and some mini pearl grape tomatoes. What I like to do with these is just um, put them into a steamer, steam them for a few minutes. I love steaming or grilling my tomatoes. I eat them more when they are either grilled or steamed because then they become soft and and juicy and more sweet um, compared to eating it um, by itself just like this. So got that. And then I got some tea. So I already, you guys can tell, I already opened this one up because I have my cup here. Um, create one of my favorite cups. And this one is like $2.99, but this is Danielle's also favorite. It's the organic caffeine-free mint uh, mint tea. I also got a brand new tea this time. So I got the pomegranate white tea organic. Wanted to try that out with hibiscus flowers and lemongrass and they're like roughly two dollars. This is another favorite organic ginger turmeric herbal tea but I do find that the, um, the turmeric kind of um, overpowers the taste so I will make this for me and hubby and I'll only leave it here um, into the water 
uh, brewing is that what you call brewing when you just oh, st steep I only steep it for maybe a minute and then put it into another cup or take it out and put it into a plate until I make another tea and then reuse it again and this one oh I love this so this is the second time I'm purchasing this this lasts such a long time chili lime seasoning blend I love it in everything um, almost everything so Danielle will Danielle likes those um, I think I bought it last time I don't know if I showed you a haul but uh, sweet potato fries over at Trader Joe's you bake it and then um, you add it has the garlic flavoring but then you add this and it's actually so delicious and then hubby loves his Hatch Valley salsa you guys know that we love our Thai so we do either pho or we do um, Thai green curry um, to take out and you know bring home for for as far as like restaurants so I wanted to start trying to learn how to make my own um, green curry dish not the sauce itself but that's why I bought this so this was just like two dollars I think or roughly a little over two dollars but it's the Thai green curry sauce and then I can just um, season that with the veggies and and stuff and then season it with um with some hot sauce so that I can have it the way I want it um, compared to just purchasing it because every time we purchase it I think it's like 11 or 12 dollars a dish and that adds up when we we like it so much so we tend to get it like at least once a week okay I think I got everything friends I I think I got everything so I'm gonna try to show you guys more of the haul I haven't been showing you guys a lot of my haul because I do stop over at Trader Joe's and Costco um, and just buy little things little things here instead of doing like such a big haul to me this is not even a big big haul it's just about the right size for me but I, I really want to stop myself of going just for little things because that's when I feel like I'm actually over budgeting and I need to I need to put myself on a budget because when I buy food for the kids and stuff um, I don't I don't have a budget for it because when the kids want something it's not in the pantry and then I try to to get it for them and I also want to go through my pantry so that I'm not stocking up on food that it's not being consumed because when I cleaned out my uh, my refrigerator oh uh, gosh I think it was two months ago I don't know if I showed you guys or or posted it on Instagram I actually threw away a lot of stuff um, like the condiments that I forgot I opened because after a certain amount of time I like to throw the condiments away even like the salad dressings I don't keep them there until it's all used up um, in my head they can only stay in the fridge a certain amount of time and then I toss them out um, I don't go by the dates and so you know just a lot better as far as budgeting for the food and consuming it so I, I want to really work on that this year I hope you guys are having an amazing um, new year thank you guys for visiting as always we appreciate all you guys um, coming over and visiting and chatting with me with the comments all right thank you guys mahalo